These herbs, oh, it just makes me hungry. Across planet Earth, we're running out of areas to grow food and we're running out of fresh, clean water to feed those crops as well. Your biggest issue here is what? Weeds? I mean, those weeds are tenacious, right? So natural plant sweetener, there we go. The tower garden works indoors, it works outdoors. You can pretty much grow anywhere on planet Earth. But what does organic mean to you guys? Know your farmer, know where your food's coming from, grow it yourself, you'll be healthier. You don't have to be an expert, but you can still grow your own clean, healthy food at home. My name is Troy Albright. I am a pharmacist and an urban farmer. We've tried to figure out, well, how can we grow our own food here in the desert? And so as we looked at different technologies, we realized water is going to be a commodity, and we investigated different ways to do it, and we decided that going vertical was way easier to do than going horizontal. So we can save 90% space by going vertical. We can use only 10% of the same amount of land, but more importantly, we're using 90 to 98% less water. As I studied my patients, it came back to the foods they were eating were affecting their health. We're seeing a lot more disease in our society because of the things we're putting in our body, on our body. So I saw a chance to change the health of my patients by providing food to them. In Minnesota, we use lots of pesticides, herbicides, fungicides to kill the weeds, to kill the bugs. And you know, we were told that that was the only way we could do it. And uh, you know, now we're finding out more of that exposure to pesticides, what that's doing to us. And so there's a big push to grow organically or the use without pesticides and herbicides and fungicides. And that's our goal, is to show people how you can do this in your own condo, your own apartment, your own house, your backyard wherever you have two to three square feet, that's all you need. It's designed for a third grader. It's meant to be kept simple. We have a reservoir that's 20 gallons that holds the water and the mineral nutrients. The water solution contains 70 plus essential minerals and nutrients, and the only moving part is a pump that pump pumps that water nutrient solution up to the top, and then it rains down, and it hits each port, and we get faster growth and we can have a full head of lettuce in 21 to 26 days from a two inch seedling. Beautiful root structure. You can tell the quality and the health of your plant by the roots and a beautiful bib lettuce. Chefs come into my greenhouse all the time and, and they'll say, well, there's no way you can grow enough food in this 5,000 square feet for me. Well, well, how many heads of lettuce do you go through a week? Oh, 50. I go, that's one of my commercial towers. I have 320 towers at maximum production in here. So I've got you know, one tower a week for you, so that leaves 316 more towers. What else do you need? So we don't realize how much more you can grow vertically than horizontally. Look at this. Look at that beautiful pak choy. On the same tower, we're also growing some starboard kale. Again, I never really liked kale until I started growing it. This is the starboard kale. It's the sweetest of all the kale. Curly kale is another name for it. It has a lot of flavor as well. This area, we're fresh cutting for our restaurants. I mean, it's just so potent. The oregano is just incredibly potent. You'll never have E. coli on this romaine. Beautiful romaine lettuce here. Nice and crunchy, you got beautiful leaves. Really, really tasty. This has become one of my favorite lettuces, the mirror. Mmm, you can just taste the freshness. Green onions, oh my gosh. Just this little piece of stevia, this is what stevia looks like, is enough to sweeten your whole smoothie. If you grow your own food, you're gonna be healthier. And that's what we're encouraging to do. You know what's been sprayed on it, you know where it's gone through, what's, how it's been handled. That's the exciting part about growing your own food. My name is Tim Blank. I'm the co-founder and chief technology officer for the Tower Garden Company. My degree is in horticulture and I had the privilege of having a 12 year career with the Walt Disney World Company at the land at Epcot. And it was clear to me after having this rare opportunity to work with food crops from all over the world using every hydroponic system imaginable that the future of food was growing up instead of out. Tower gardening really gives us an opportunity to garden in many cases where we couldn't have a garden. Indoors, on your patio, in the backyard. So it's really a complement to modern gardening. And they automatically will fit in. So if these weren't in right, they wouldn't line up here and it wouldn't snap together. 
as we put these sections together, we create an area where a tube that the water is going to come up through. So we've got our four sections that we grow 16 regular pots, and then we have 16 baby green spots here. Now we're going to put the shower cap on, and everything fits nice and tight. With traditional agriculture, unfortunately, a lot of water is wasted. There's a lot of water going to places the plant roots aren't at, and then a lot of water is being evaporated into the environment. In the tower garden, the water is self-contained in the tower garden reservoir. So every time the tower garden waters, that water goes up, passes by the roots. The roots take the water and minerals and needs in, and whatever's left over goes right back down into the reservoir and is reused. At maximum production, I can grow close to 20,000 living plants a month in here. The only thing we can't grow in these towers are root vegetables, tubers like potatoes, and then things like, you know what, uh, blueberries, raspberries, those are tree type plants. Plants don't need soil. What they need is what's in the soil. Um, gases like oxygen, water, and minerals. So really the science of hydroponics and aeroponics is taking all those important minerals, get them in a clean, water-soluble format, and make them readily available to the plants. That's really the science of aeroponics. So we're growing snap peas. Look at these snap peas here. There's tomatoes. We've got spinach growing, strawberries, peppers. There's some eggplant hanging out. Taste it all. You help yourself. Nobody, this, nobody eats the habaneros. Yeah, it's got a lemon flavor. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. Mint. Taste the mint. Pass what that was around. The, lemon one again? the red vein sorrel. Mm. What's when, when the plant starts doing this? What's this? Seeding. Or it's uh, bolting. bolting. It, this will be very bitter. So we've harvested from this for about three, four months now. So once it gets this, you give it to the chickens. Mm. Or compost it. Okay. Let's walk this way. We're gonna see some tomato towers. hands are green from the from the chlorophyll. You find anything on here you're welcome to pull it off. We got different types of tomatoes. The more uh, you get into your plant canopy and take this stuff out, the bigger your tomatoes will be. You're not going to hurt the tower if you pull off too much, but when you start eating these things and you notice how juicy they are, I mean are they, when you buy them from the store do they have juice like that? It's like plastic. <laughs> it's because they've traveled who knows how long. Ooh, the pellet peppers are good. When you don't take care of your towers like this, they still produce, but they won't produce as big of a fruit. Oh, look at this. A red bell pepper, who wants a red bell pepper? So there's different ways you can grow with your tower, indoor, outdoor, grow the things you love to eat. Here's just a little sampling of all the different seedlings that we offer. You got your flowers, your fruiting crops, more of your herbs. And this is fun too. What is it? Uh, you'll know as soon as you taste it. Oh. What is that? Is that the stevia? Stevia. Did oh you get some? God. That is good. Mm -hmm. So when you buy it in the store, it's in a liquid form or powder, there's always a bitter aftertaste. Why is that? Processed. Yep. They're extracting with chemicals. Huh. No, there's no bitter aftertaste, is there? No. no a natural plant sweetener. No. Those are actually nine feet tall. They're commercial. The residential will come five or six feet tall, depending on if you buy the extension or not. When I mean, you think about it, you got 32 grow spots here, so one tower can produce quite a bit of food for two people. The home tower is designed to where it's right there in your kitchen or right there close to your kitchen, so you can just come and harvest right off it. You always harvest from the outside and you come in. The goal is to make sure you don't let them get so big that they start going to seed. And that's one of the biggest issues I see with people that own towers, is their tower is just a big hedge. And they're like, um, you know, I don't want to eat off it because it looks too pretty. <laughs> you gotta harvest your produce. If you love to eat kale and lettuce and celery, grow those things. You're gonna be so much healthier than the stuff you buy in the store. Once you try it, you'll never go back. I mean, you're already a grower. You already understand the basics, how a plant grows. This is just so yeah. simple. Yeah. It's compared to what you've done, this is easy. You're gonna be like, why isn't everybody doing this? Take control of your food supply. Get more healthy produce. If you're growing food right in your own kitchen, you're gonna harvest it every day, right? The food's going from the tower to your table. And I believe what uh, Hippocrates said years ago, centuries ago, let food be medicine and let medicine be your food. I firmly believe that.